So the traditional teaching was that caffeine is not a good thing for various reasons. Is it stimulant? Is it diuretic? It's an irritant. Uh, can cause reflux. When I first started, you know, you kind of try and be the, the bad police guy and be taskmaster and really press hard. And what I found, patients really do what they want to do. <laughs> I mean, the truth of the matter is, you can tell them what you want makes me feel better. But at the end of the day, I mean, I have a very good example of it. One of my patients was having surgery, and something came up, and I can't remember was it indigestion or something. And I asked about coffee. Kind of, there was this like silence for a minute, and there was a look between the husband and the wife, and the husband's kind of just jumped in the middle, took the opportunity. Yes, she drinks eight cups a day. Oh, no. I just said, oh my God, what? And then she kind of, because she, she shrank in her bed. And she knew well that she shouldn't have, right? So, so what I ended up saying to patients is that look, really, and that's my approach for all, everything, is you gotta have a balance, you know? There's no point in me telling you never have coffee because you're gonna be miserable for those of them who like coffee. So one cup a day, the caffeine content of one cup a day, especially if it's dilute, is I think not going to be uh, can, you know, counterproductive. So I said to them that they can have it. Now, I think with that, majority feel that, okay, they can still have it. Of course, some, they make the cup long and tall. And so, you know, they play tricks, and they play tricks with themselves. But I think that one cup rule, that's at least something that I feel patients handle well, doesn't give them problems, and they do well with that.